check. Wayne? Noah. Mr. Dick? Daryl. Hello, Noah. Daniel. Haven't seen ye in the age of a dog once. My deepest sympathies that the love tree ye and Lovina tried to plant together didn't take root. Ah, she's a special gal. I know that now more than ever. How's she doing? I suppose you've heard by now she was attacked at a petting zoo. No, I had not heard that. A giant cock about yay, from behind even. It would seem she was on the receiving end of a good-sized prick. Doctor said he'd never seen a gash quite that size. It's the size of a fist. And indeed, that's all she had to suppress the bleeding. Can you imagine a fist inside your gash? Tough week then, eh? Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't end there. A couple of days prior, my two young boys caught the prickliest of the itchies after playing with a pile of pink insulation in the barn. And would you believe on the same day, my daughter fell in the manure pile. I had two in the pink and one in the stink. Brings you by, Noah. Wayne, your community has always used us right, and hopefully you feel as though our community has used you right as well. Yeah. I need your help at the dick farm once. Put it this way, it's work only men can do. My two young boys aren't quite up to the task yet. Well, we got six strong hands, we can help. I am blessed this day, for the Lord hath given unto me three able men willing to help me with a hand job. Uh, what type of job is this exactly? Men banging, men pounding. It's best I show ye once. I feel like we got our own work to do. We'll be there, Noah. Thanks unto ye, Wayne. Uh, bring your tools. By the way, my children have recently taken to digging for buried treasures in the cornfields. Their imagination hath no bounds at this age. And though I've instructed them to halt, please, neighbors, let me know should you see my children cornholing in the field. <laughs>